Steve, you've got a testimony you want to share. Let's welcome Steve. Amen. I kind of tried to keep this really brief. I actually shared it with Curtis yesterday, and he said I'd need to really tell all the rest of the church, you know, and y'all should have been here this morning for prayer because what Paul had prayer had a prayer there towards the last is that we all need to just buckle down and trust God no matter what. And I went, here's the scenario. Um, I was down in Omaha standing a fence, me and the, the other guy that I work with. And we went down on Tuesday, and we bought it's 35 gallons of staying this gigantic fence around this uh, multi-million dollar mansion. There's multi-million dollar mansions all around us. And uh, I was a little reluctant about spraying it because the houses are so close. And most all these uh, houses have hydrophilic glass. I don't know if you want to know what it is. It's very expensive, and you can't clean it. So either that, if you get something on it, we own it. We got to pay for it. And this thing, this glass is worth thousands of dollars. So I was a little concerned. We went down Tuesday and we went to Menards and picked up 15 gallons of stain. Um, and uh, they mixed it all up. And we said, Did you check it? Oh, yeah, it's all fine. No problem. Okay. So we threw the 15 gallons. We were in Fremont. And we went on to Bennington. And I pulled the cans out and I dumped one in. So this don't look like the right color. So I grabbed another five gallon, popped it open. Oh, I know this isn't the right color. Oh, you got to be kidding me. He screwed up all three five gallon cans. They're 240 some dollars for a can. So well, we're just depressed. Now we, we called Fremont. They said, bring it all back. We'll make you new and re exchange this. Now we go back to Omaha to Fremont, wasting time. We get there. Oh, we don't have any more of the five gallon mix. Like, yeah, you're kidding me. We could have picked it up in Omaha. Now we're wasting our time. We got to go back to Omaha to get the right stain. So we went back to Omaha. By this time, it's 2 33 o'clock. We're disgruntled. We picked up the new stain for the next day. And as we're going home, and I'm witnessing the man all the time, and his, and his son comes help us now and then. And I clearly hear God just say, You know, put your money where your mouth is. What are you always professing that you're supposed to count it all joy? And I just turned to Matt and I said, you know, um, James 1, 2 says, we're to count it all joy. I don't understand it. We've wasted an entire day. We had no wind. We thought it was perfect day to, to spray. And uh, we couldn't. So the next morning we come back and I'm praying. And we come back in the morning and uh, imagine this being the fence. Actually, it's a real long rectangle. And this is south, north. And the house is sitting about here. Multi-million dollar house here. Multi-million dollar house here. Multi-million dollar house here empty lot well the house is sitting here and we have to, to to spray one or actually we started down here on the bottom it's an empty lot we need a northwest wind which that's not a problem in the morning and, we, and it took us about three and a half hours to spray both sides of this fence and i'm watching the wind and i'm really reluctant now we got to go here's the house we started on this piece here now we need the wind to come straight out of the west which rarely ever happens in Nebraska. It's always on northwest or southeast. Well, just as we started spraying, I could feel the wind hit me in the back. I said, you got to be kidding me. It's coming straight west, pushing it right across the lot where we need it to go. And I told Matt, I said, God has just changed the wind from northwest to west for us. Okay. We get this piece done. Now we're coming in a long piece here. There's a multi-million dollar house here full of this glass. Now we need the wind to come from the, to the, from the southeast to push it across the lot. But the wind's coming from here, but now I need it to change, or I guess change from a whole different direction. And I think, and it's the breeze, and I can see, I've been watching as that stain's going through the air, I can see, you know, what direction it's going. And we're right by this multi-million dollar house, and I'm going, Lord, all of a sudden the wind hit me in the back of the neck again. It now would change a complete direction again. And the whole time we did this, both sides, the wind stayed exactly where we needed to have it. I thought, okay, this now has changed three times in our favor, in our direction. Now there's a short fence right here. This is the painted fence of the neighbors, and they didn't look like they were very happy. They didn't like us being there. They watched us like hawks. This short fence, I said, Matt, if, the wind, if God doesn't change the direction of the wind, there's no way we can do this part of the fence and there's another short piece in there, and uh, we're going to have to come back tomorrow. So we gathered everything up, got up by the fence, and I couldn't believe the wind now is hitting me again, pushing it straight across the lot away from the ho both houses, because 
if we're next to these houses, it's going to swirl if it comes out of the northwest or any other direction, it's going to coat the house. It can only come one direction that we absolutely need it. And sure enough, God had changed the wind again, drug it all the way across the lot. We didn't have to worry about hitting any of those houses. One more piece of fence we got to do, another part next to the fence. In any direction, it can only come from straight west or the wind will circle around and cover his house and drag it across the neighbors. Again, the wind changed again. And every time it changed, I was able to <laughs> witness to, to Matt, the son, and I had said, God has now changed the wind direction five times. One time, he changed it completely around and go the other opposite direction where we were. That never happens. And it did it exactly when we needed it. And it did it for exactly as long as we needed it. That was the miracle part. It never reversed at any given time until we were done with that stretch of fence. Now, again, God said we were supposed to count it all joy. And as Paul had said this morning, that we were supposed to trust. And you talk about blind, blind faith trust when we moved from corner to corner on that fence. And when that wind every time hit me in the back of the neck, I still cannot believe what had happened because I've never witnessed something like God has done like that in my life. But that's a testimony that as the wind changes, as that building comes up more and more, that just shows me that God even cares about the wind when we're spraying and uh, so no matter what we need no matter what we're going to do he's always going to change whatever we need at that time that we need it but my testimony is this here i could not believe it but the greatest thing was is when we were going home and the whole day i'm just hollering out to matt hey god changed the wind again look at this this is a miracle and he's, you know, he's spraying and it's going where we're exactly where it needed to go. And he, he couldn't deny it then. He said, yeah, he said, that only thing that could have done that was God. There's no, one, no, no other explanation for the wind to change different directions every time we needed it. Not just here and there, every time we moved, every time we needed it. And the, the angles that the wind had to come was not direct. I mean, it had to be just the right angle for that to drift away. Otherwise, it would have circled around and sprayed the houses or the fences. But it was exact. We never got any stain on anything else but what absolutely needed to be. Because, of course, remember, we have to do both sides of the fence. And there's, you know, four sides of the fence. So I, it, it's just, to me, I still am in awe of what had happened. Thanks. <clears throat> what a supernatural God we serve this morning. Amen.